This lesson is all about laws of exponents, and we're going to discuss product of powers, power of a power, and power of a product. Well, the other laws of the exponents will be discussed on the next video. We will just focus with this tree. Let us start with product of powers. In here, you need to remember that a raised to m times a raised to n is equivalent to a raised to m plus n, which means that you can only add the exponents if the base are the same. For example, a squared times a raised to the fifth power. Since the base are the same, which is a, then Let's just simply add its exponents, which are 2 and 5. And 2 plus 5 is 7. So the answer is a to the 7th power. Another, x cubed times x raised to 7. Again, look if the base are the same. Since they are both x, then just simply copy x and add its exponent. 3 plus 7, you'll have 10. Or number 3, m times m to the 4th power. Again, look at the base if they are the same. So since they are the same, let's just copy m. Then add its exponent. However, in here, m has an exponent which is 1. But if the exponent is 1, you don't need to write it anymore. You just have to put in your mind that there is 1 in here. So 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So the answer will be m to the 5th power. Another for number 4. 4a four squared times 2a cubed. As you observe, there's already numerical coefficients which are 4 and 2. And therefore, we're going to multiply them. 4 times 2 is 8. Then, let's copy the given literal coefficient or the given variable which is a. And so, let's add its exponent. 2 plus 3 will have 5. So the answer is 8, a to the 5th power. Another, for number 5, x cubed times y. As you can see, the variables are not the same, which means the base are not the same. And if they are not the same, then we cannot add its exponent. So what to do with this? So when you multiply x cubed times y, we will just simply combine them. And the answer will be x cubed y. For number 6, 9x squared y cubed times negative 3x to the 4th y. So again, let us start by multiplying the numerical coefficients which are 9 and negative 3. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. As you observe, we have here two variables which are x and y. So let's add the exponent of x. 2 plus 4 is 6. Then the other variable is y. Now let's add the exponents of y. 3 plus 1 is 4. And so the answer will be negative 27x raised to the 6th, y raised to the 4th power. So next, let us discuss power of a power, wherein you have to remember that a raised to m raised to n is equivalent to a raised to m times n. 
which means you are going to multiply the exponents. For example, b cubed raised to 2. So just simply copy the given base and then multiply the exponent. 3 times 2 is 6. For number 2, y to the 4th raised to the 5th power. So just simply copy the given base and then multiply the exponent. 4 times 5 is 20. So the answer is y raised to the 20th power. Well, in here, we will discuss power of a product. The product of a and b raised to m is equivalent to a raised to m, b raised to m. For example, we have the product of a and b raised to the 7th power. The exponent of a and b in here is 1. So we will have a 1 times 7 is 7. Next is b. 1 times 7 is also 7. That is why the answer will be a to the 7th power, b to the 7th power. Another for number 2. The cube of 2xy, which means to say 2 is also in cube. Now what are you going to do with this? This will be 2 cube x cube y cube. Why? Because all the exponents of the base in here is just 1. So 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 3 is also 3. And 1 times 3 is 3 again. However, this is not yet the final answer because you still need to simplify 2 cube. 2 cube means 2 times 2 times 2. And then let's simply copy x cube and y cube. Now, 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2, the answer will be 8. So when we simplify 2 cubed, this will be 8. And then let's just copy x cubed and then the y cubed. Another, the square of 5a cubed b. So 5, the exponent of 5 in here is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So next is A. The exponent of A is 3. So 3 times 2 is 6. Now B. The exponent of B is 1. Times 2 you have 2. So let us simplify 5 squared. 5 squared means 5 times 5. And then let's just copy this. a to the 6, b squared. 5 times 5 is 25. And then let's copy this again. And so the final answer will be 25, a to the 6, b squared. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.